guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be doing 10 fall outfits that are not basic that are actually cute and I'm gonna be showing them to you today but I thought I should do this actually vlog style because I thought that'd be interesting and we just got this cute little full length mirror here so I'm gonna be using this to show you all the outfits. So, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Okay, so here is outfit number one, and this outfit I feel like is just a cute street style outfit, I guess you could say. All of my outfits kind of had different vibes. So this vibe, I think, is like a street style vibe. This gray long sleeve is from American Eagle. It's from last year's Soft and Sexy long sleeve collection, but we have a new one now. <laughs> and then this is a Brandy Melville graphic t-shirt. I got it in the oversized ed edition, but it also comes in cropped. Then I have my American Eagle mom jeans. These are not sold anymore, but we have different ones. And then I just have these pink Nikes because I thought since it was all neutral, adding pink Nikes would make it cute. So this is outfit number one, my street style outfit. And I just think it's really easy because I feel like everyone has these things in their closet that they can wear. Also, I didn't say this earlier as a disclaimer, but this is not to tell you to buy the exact things that I own. This is to tell you to make outfits and use my outfits as inspiration. This outfit I'm going to call the baggy outfit and I really actually have been liking wearing baggy jeans with a baggy top which used to be against my fashion rules but here we are me wearing baggy jeans and baggy top but I'll just explain where these are from. This is from American Eagle. We're actually selling this sweatshirt right now. The same jeans from the last outfit and then my black slip-on vans. I just feel like this is so cozy. We have a ton of colors in these if you don't like this one, but I just really like the baggy on baggy look and I feel like you can interpret this in many different ways. So that is outfit number two. Here is outfit number three. This is going to be called corduroy because <laughs> I feel like the corduroy pants are the center of the outfit. I know that corduroy pants are really a staple. They are a little bit bold, but I feel like if you are trying to get a little adventurous this fall season, I think that these are a good option. These ones are from last year from American Eagle. This black t-shirt is just a plain black t-shirt from American Eagle. And then I paired it with the Doc Martens, of course. So this is a really easy outfit, but you can make it more fall if you did like a long sleeve shirt or a sweater. There's plenty of ways you can go with this, but I just think this is really cute. Very good transition to fall too. So if you're feeling a little bold, try the corduroy outfit. This is outfit number four. I'm going to call this girly grunge that's what i'm gonna call this one because the dress makes it a little girly but then you got the big boots and that kind of makes it grunge in my opinion <laughs> i don't know if that's right but that's just my name for it so i have the same black t-shirt from american eagle this is a corduroy dress that is from last year american eagle but then again like i said please get whatever you want you do not have to get something because i have it and then I just have the same Doc Martens. So that's my girly grunge outfit that you could definitely pair with a sweater or long sleeve or honestly whatever you want. That's the point of this video is that you have freedom in the outfits that you choose. So for outfit number five, we're going to call this floral because this is mainly the most floral outfit that I have in this video <laughs> i just think this is so cute and it's really easy to put together because it's just a sweater and a skirt but this sweater is from american eagle last year this is from american eagle this year and then these shoes i don't know where they're from but you can really mix and match this however you want if you wanted to just do a shirt with a cardigan or do different shoes like sneakers boots Honestly, you could do any of those things. So 
that's gonna be, well, I'm falling. <laughs> that's gonna be the floral outfit that I think is super cute and is really effortless to do. I'm gonna call this one winter blues because I feel like blue really goes good with my blonde hair. I don't like wearing blue with jeans. That's just a fashion no for me. <laughs> so what I did is I paired it with an all black bottom and I feel like it really accentuates the blue, which I don't see people do this very often. So that's why I thought this outfit might be a little bit unique. Um, this sweater's from American Eagle. We're selling it right now. These jeans are from American Eagle. We're selling them right now. And then the Doc Martens, as you already know. That is my winter blues outfit and ignore the trucks outside. But we are almost done, people. This is taking a while to try on. <laughs> I'm sorry this outfit's so basic. I know this video <laughs> is not supposed to be basic, but... I feel like the varsity jacket or the collegiate, I think that's how you say that word, collegiate sweatshirts are really, really cute for fall. And this kind of gives me that collegiate sweatshirt vibe. I hope I'm saying that right. And I just paired it with leggings and just vans because I feel like that makes sense. But I think that this is a really cute vibe going on. So I'm going to call this the collegiate and that's it. This is a very old Brandy Melville sweatshirt. These leggings are from Lululemon and then the Vans that you saw from earlier. But I kind of like this school vibe. I don't know about you, but that's what this gives me. So hopefully this is not too basic for you. Honestly, this outfit is really not my style, but I'm putting it in the video because I know a lot of people like to dress like this, but this outfit I'm gonna call the lazy girl because we incorporated some sweatpants, so I'll just tell you where everything's from. This shirt is from Urban Outfitters, but they don't sell it there anymore. These sweatpants are green sweatpants, and they're from Brandy Melville. And then I would pair this with different shoes, but I couldn't find any other shoes to pair with this one. So personally, this is not really my style, but I know a lot of people like to try to figure out how they can incorporate sweatpants into everyday life. So this is my attempt at that, and I definitely think you guys could do a lot better at this outfit than I did. This last outfit I'm gonna call pumpkin patch because I feel like overalls are great things to wear as pumpkin patches personally. Here's my pumpkin patch outfit. This long sleeve is from Brandy Melville, but I got it in London, so can't recommend that to you, but yeah. And then these overalls are actually from Kohl's. Honestly, they're not very stylistic, so I wouldn't recommend these either, but I do recommend the Doc Martens because they're great shoes, but I just think that this outfit would be really cute. And I don't know, it's just really cozy if you're an overall fan. And I'm gonna say that's it. That is all the outfits for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked any of the outfits, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!